Hi guys, my name is Pauline, welcome to my channel. Today we will create a cool game for Halloween holidays, I call it Make a Potion. We generate a random sequence of ingredients of a potion and we need to repeat it. So let's create this cool game. First let's add all the sprites that we need in our game and set the backdrop. I go to choose a backdrop and I want this one with woods. You can choose everything you want. Now I go to sprites. I want to add a witch. This one, set it here. And also I want to add cauldron, some poisons, spider and pumpkin, all my ingredients for a potion. You can add any what you want. You can draw sprites or upload from the computer. You can find pictures in the internet and just simply upload it to the scratch or you can go and draw your own sprites. I also upload pumpkin, set it here, change size, let's 50. Also want to upload some poisons, this one will be purple. I change size to 50, no, let's 40. And I also want to change direction, just a little bit turn, so like this. Great, then I duplicate, go to costumes, and I want to change color, not purple, I just want this one to be green. Choose green color. Choose the tool fill and click on the purple. Wait, rename it with green. Set somewhere here and let's turn. Another one will be red. Also go to costumes and change color to the red one. You can draw it by your own or as me just upload also turn maybe like this and i also want to add spider we can draw it i just click on the paint fill with the black color choose a circle great then i choose line for legs i want it to be wider seven and with the line draw legs great and also let's add eyes with white color outline zero one here and one like this, I choose a brush. Cool. And also, let's add net line. Great. I rename it with spider. Put somewhere here and change size 50. Great. All our sprites is ready, so let's program. When we start the game, we should say some room. When the green flag clicked, she will say prepare the right potion and you will leave but if you make a mistake i turn you into pumpkin ha 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 and just say let's go and then our game will start. First, which should generate this random sequence, this random recipe of the potion. And for doing this, we go and create a list. Let's create a list and call it potion. So when the green flag click, we delete 
all of potion so it should be empty and now we need to generate so our recipe consists of each item and each item will have a number so we can just say that spider for example is one pumpkin is two potion red is three potion red is four and purple is five actually it doesn't matter just we need to know the number so in our list each item will contain some number and we will know what the ingredients it is so we need to add number to potion we want to be a random so we choose a block pick random for one two five because we have five ingredients if you will have more or less you need to change this number and let's do this five times so our recipe consists of five steps you also can change this number create more steps or less as you wish great so we have a recipe now we should show the player which ingredients we need to add to the potion items will glow for a second for for doing this we need to check our list we need to check each value of the item so for example if item one of a potion is equal to one we broadcast a message and wait it's important that spider should go double gate if item is equal to we broadcast let's broadcast pumpkin If uh, is equal three, let's broadcast um, purple. It's number four. Let's broadcast green, green poison, and it's four. Let's broadcast red. So each value match with the item and we need to check all the items in the list for not duplicating all of this and change item to two three and so on we'll create a loop loop repeat and we will repeat five times because we have five items in our list and for changing this we create variable let's call it number before i set number to the one here i change one to the number and then change number by one so first i my number is one and i check item one then i change number and it's already two so i check item two great after we broadcast a message when for example spider receive this message spider it should glow for a second we have um, in the looks let's set effect effect brightness for example 50 then wait one second and clear all the effects now let's add the script to other items and drag and drop you see when it's shaking all right and go to pumpkin and when i receive pumpkin it should glow purple and receive purple green and red great now we can check let's hide variable let's check great wonderful we show player the right sequence and he should remind all of this and repeat we need to click on uh, the spread that we that we think is right save our answers and compare it to the potion we will save answers in a new list so let's create two variables and make a list 
and call it answer. Once again, flag clicked, I also want to delete all of answers. And then when I click to the item, to the ingredient, I should add value to the list. Go to block on the sprite clicked, add spider is one, so I add one to answer. Also, I want to show to player that he clicked on the spider, so let's also show this brightness effect, but not just one second, it's too long, let's half of this 0 0.5. Great, you, we can check, so I click and add one to the list. Let's also add this to the another. Go to pumpkin and check. Pumpkin is two, so we add two to answers. Purple. If you don't remember, you can go to which and see. So purple is three. So we add three to answers. Green is four. And red is five. Great, now we have potions, we have answers all right we have two uh, pumpkins purple green and spider all right and our last step we need to compare potion and answer go to which and we will create a condition of course Let's create another block, once again flag clicked, forever loop. First we need to check that we add 5 ingredients, so length of our list answer is 5. We have a special block for this, length of answer, and if our length is 5, that means that we add 5 items. Then we need to compare item 1 of answers and item one of potion if it's equal and also equal item two item three item four and five that means that we are one and we need to combine all of this with operator and because we need all of this be true at the same time we have five conditions so we need four and because one gap two three four and then five and then put everything in these gaps be careful Great, and if this is true, we use block if else. If this is true, our witch will, will say, hmm, all right, you won. But if it's not true, so we made a mistake, our witch will say, ha ha ha, you made a mistake. Take you, you are pumpkin now. <laughs> or you can write anything what you want. Great! So that's all. Let's hide answer and potion and check our game. All right, I will try. <laughs> yeah, I won. Let's uh, try not to. I just click randomly because I didn't want to one. Hey, you made a mistake, you're a pumpkin now. Cool, let's just stop all after this.
Great, our game is ready. You can also improve your game by adding some animations, sounds and so on. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I wish you a happy Halloween holidays. See you next time. Bye.